Welcome to another show, I'm Sid, and in today's video I'll be going over the texture gallery in Spark AR Studio, which is a program used for making filters on Instagram and Facebook. I have lots of tutorials on my channel, a whole playlist in fact, uh, so if you haven't already, check that out. If you're new here, don't forget to hit like, comment below what you thought about this video. It's my first one back since uh, not having my computer, so I'm excited for that. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can be notified when I post new videos in the future. Basically, what I'm going to be showing today is the text gallery, which as you can see behind me is this checkerboard pattern. Uh, we can switch that up a little bit later on. Uh, what it does is when you transfer to the phone, you can place, place your own image over it, basically from the camera roll. So I'm going to get into that and then at the very end, I'll give you a demonstration of what it actually looks like in practice on my phone. So let's pause this and I'll start a new project. We can get back into it. Okay, so here we are. I'll switch over to my camera so you can see me. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add two objects. We're gonna add a, two rectangles. So we'll hit that and then we'll hit Command D to duplicate, or you can right click and the duplicate options there as well. So we're gonna name this one foreground and this one background, shorthand, FG, BG. We're gonna do the same here with layers. We're gonna name this one foreground and we're gonna add a second layer called background and we're gonna make sure that we're on the right layers for everything. So the foreground wants to be on the foreground and the background on the background. Next up, we're gonna control click both of these and we're gonna adjust the size. So we're gonna fill the width and we're gonna fill the height. And then we're gonna come up here to camera and we're gonna hit segmentation texture extraction, which will produce these two textures down here in the assets panel underneath the scene. Uh, so next what we're going to do is we're going to add some material layers. So we have our material for foreground, we'll rename that, and our material for the background. We'll rename that as well. Next you want to control select both of these, and just for the purpose of this I'm going to make them both flat, uniform. You can adjust multiple properties at the same time just by control selecting things. So it's worth doing, if you're doing things in bulk and you're going to have multiple layers with similar properties, it's, it's worth knowing that you can do that. But anyway, next up we're going to come here to foreground, um, we're going to add our camera texture here, so that separates everything out, brings me back forwards. And then down here we're going to add alpha channel and we'll do our person segmentation mask, which will create this background here. Sorry for the noise in the background, I'm trying to do this video in one take, so <laughs> I guess we'll just move along. But yeah, what we have now is the foreground with me cut out and the background, which as you can see right now is white because the background the layer here is white. I can change that if I want, so we can have nice green, blue, like red, any, any type of color like that. But what we actually want is we're gonna add the gallery texture. As you see right here, this notification comes up. This capability isn't supported by platforms for this effect. To use this capability, review the platforms for this effect and unselect Facebook. So if I hit review right now, it will take you there automatically, but I'm gonna show you how to, if you, can, if you already hit cancel and you wanna know what happens next, come up here to project, edit properties, and then just here under select platforms, you wanna deselect Facebook because that will not work right now with this app. So you wanna deselect that and now when you add the gallery texture, it works just fine and it, there's no problems. So with our background texture, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add our gallery texture, the new one that we've just created. As you can see, it comes up with this checkerboard pattern behind me. Uh, and if we come over here to the actual texture itself, the gallery texture here, you can rename all this stuff. You can change it to whatever you like. I just for simplicity's sake have foreground and background shorthand as FG and BG. And then yeah, for it's, it's, it's very simple, but as you, as you uh, get to use things more often, you'll probably come up with your own shorthands, your nicknames for things is, that you use frequently. That, I don't know, I'm kind of learning as I go again, as we're getting back into this. Bear with me, I'm getting a bit distracted. So basically we have the gallery texture here and it's pretty simple, it has a checkerboard pattern right now, but if you hit this little check mark, you can adjust, you can add your own texture. So you can create an animation sequence or just a general image background that works in the back, like as the default place header. Uh, so you can work on it, you can make it like a game or anything like that. You can add like various animations and interactions in the background, or you can just have it set as a color like if you wanted a green screen simply, then you could set it to be green. And now it's a green screen, but also when the person wants to, they can upload their own image as the background uh, and it becomes a texture gallery as well. So yeah, I'll switch back to texture. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go over now and check it out on the phone itself. So if I hit, oh, if I hit test on device and then center app, 
will get an upload to Spark Hub because it's quite it's a new project and then it will export and I'll be able to test it on my phone. I'm going to do that live so hopefully that footage will be next to whatever I'm doing right now. So that's done. I'll hit refresh up here uh, and then we will be able to test it. So as you can see here's the checkerboard behind me and if I hit add media then we can select from some of the many photos on my camera roll which is this one and I, there you go I'm in front of a background now nice it's not much to it it's pretty simple but I'm sure there's a lot that can be done with it I've seen some videos of people playing around with textures in the eyeballs and stuff so it plays videos uh, which is pretty cool uh, but yeah this is one of the first videos that I'm making back in Spark AR <laughs> I'm addressing this now uh, this is, this is one of the first videos that I've made back in Spark AR. This is pretty much the first tutorial I'm making. So I'd appreciate any feedback you have. I know I'm probably a little bit behind what everyone else is doing. There have been a couple of updates that come out since I last made videos like this. So if anybody uh, <laughs> you know, wants to leave some feedback in the, co in the comments, that would be awesome. Also, engagement just generally helps the channel grow. Uh, so don't forget to like, leave a comment, uh, watch the video in its entirety, because watch time is important especially early on when you're trying to hit like a thousand subscribers and we're almost at 450 so we're getting close to 500 which means we're like halfway there which is crazy it's uh incredible that you've all stuck around and continue to watch even though i haven't been making these type of videos the videos that you actually subscribe for so i appreciate that thank you very much uh it's good to be back <laughs> uh and yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna cut this video off now so peace out and I'll, actually I'll cut back over here so <laughs> I'll peace out from the docks here just chilling out in London uh, have a nice day I hope you're all well and I'll see you later peace